Good morning to day eight of the pool build. Today's gonna to be a quieter day, although our man is in there already. Um, we've been um, using it, the uh, diamond blade to get all of the excess mortar off of the floor. So obviously when the plastering and the glue goes on, it's not all lumpy and bumpy. Before I start, obviously give me a thumbs up below. That'd be absolutely lovely. Um, didn't get that many comments the last couple of days, but then uh, the videos are pretty as is. So um, yeah, any comments you can give me would be greatly appreciated. Um, I've not uploaded last night's yet. I'm gonna do that later on this morning, so I'll get that over to you. But yeah, let me show you what's happening. So, so I showed you yesterday that the pool has now been all trimmed in gutter-wise and this has also been done so we can actually get the mortar um, drafted across. Um, here, as you can see, he's been wetting and uh, using the diamond bit on the drill over there, look. To get all of the actual excess markets landed on the floor. It's a very laborious task. The one that has to be done. Bloody good guy this lad as well. Little grafter. Um, I need to talk to Simon about what we're going to do about the little gap between the pipe and the concrete as well. I'm very mindful that will let water through. So we might have to put some form of SL1 or something on that. Showman is again on our door frame. Just making up some of the edges that have chipped off. And we'll get that stained in today. And he's going to paint this back to grey until we're ready to go and buy the paint and get stuck in. So door has been um, varnished already, frame has been painted. We're going to get another coat onto the frame as well and get that varnished after all the dust has stopped, as you can appreciate, even though it's wet at the moment, there's a lot of dust being made. Um, Neighbour wanted a, a light um, shade put on there, so we did that for him the other day. Hopefully that's stopped the, uh, the football pitch light blaring him in the face. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, unfortunately, so I need to come up with a different solution for that. So anybody got any ideas down in the comments, let me know. Certainly needs to look prettier than that, that's for sure. Um, obviously needs to be functional, but I don't want it to look like it's a, a bit of PVC stuck on the wall like it is at the moment. The grills downstairs have dried, so now we're gonna have to obviously we can take those off and we can then get the bolts to put into the bank to bolt them in. That's one thing I need to do later on. Um, I also ordered all of those other three as well today. Um, obviously we need another one for this door, as I said yesterday, another one for the door in the inside. And then we also need the spare one for the uh, pump room and the uh, the thought process on the pump room at the moment is that we're going to actually going to cut a door in downstairs and we're going to probably seal this uh, manhole up that's the thought so far so um, I'm going to speak to the guys about doing that for me because I really can't be bothered to do that and the one thing we do need to do obviously is get these bloody cracks done we keep talking about it but we need to get them done certainly whilst the dust is being done now we may as well just get it done I might even talk to them about doing it see if they can give me a price to do it don't forget to give me a subscribe down below. Any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. Um, anything in particular people want to see, let me know. Anything you want to know about the area, let me know. Um, I'm going to be out doing some bits today, so maybe I'll, uh, if I nip into some suppliers, maybe I can do some filming in there as well. But other than that, I'll check in with you later on. Thanks for watching, and I'll check in soon. Okay, day closing. Give me a like and a subscribe and some comments below before I start waffling. Um, been out getting some bits today, so I've returned to see where we are, which is uh, a good place. Um, but now the tiles, because we're actually going to now select um, the side. Let me show you. As I've said, we're now going to leave this and we're going to do something on here. We were going to go for deck and we're now going to tile it. So we now need something which is 24 inches. This is 23, basically, just over that lip. So we're going to cut this to 23, which gives us one tile all the way through. Ideally, the longer the tile, the better, obviously. But we need... 24 inches wide at least so probably gonna be 24 by 24s all the way through here all the way around and then we need the same tile to go from here to here so if anybody knows anywhere that does any good tiles that ideally are slip resistant for pools in a very light gray color like this then let me know I'm gonna to nip to tile gallery tomorrow which is where I normally go I'm also gonna to nip to Keystone um, but we need to try and find something like that. The good thing about going with a 24 inch tile, as I say, is we'll be able to cut that line, which means we'll be in full control of making sure that that line here is overhung slightly and dead straight. And then the other tile, we can actually use the tile itself um, as the edge here and then put the cut in here. So we we'll definitely have to put a cut in here anyway, unless there's someone that's actually got a five foot tile that we can cut through, which Keystone did have some five foot tiles, but the last time we went in, they didn't have any. 
so yeah if we had a five foot tile then it's a case of just cutting it at 23 inches and then cutting this one off as well and then we've actually got a nice tile going in there um, it also enables us to put the led stripper kit going on about in here as well so once that arrives um, it's only about 15 mil it will slot down here level with the tile level with the concrete but the other thing we are going to do is recut this edge all the way around the pool um, so that that can be done so that's quite a big job and ideally we could start that tomorrow so uh, but i'll see what he says first i think he's actually got guys on other jobs so at the moment obviously it's just making sure we've got a plan to ensure they've got a full a full working day obviously um sherwin has been busy um he's painted in and stained in so this doorway is now looking a lot more pleasant um, as you can see it's had the paint that it needs um, the uh, step has been repaired and been stained in as well now so that's a nice color the only thing it looks like it hasn't done is the varnish because there's fingerprints on here so tomorrow I'm sure we'll get that done um, yeah that's pretty much where we are for the day so day closes in Barbados no sunset for you tonight unfortunately because of the cloud and the lateness but anyway thanks for watching and I'll check on you guys tomorrow for what will be day night take care oh and very quickly one thing I did forget this is the pool color so it's a very bright blue I didn't think it was gonna be that bright but anyway so that's the blue that's gonna go on that was the gray we were gonna use if we weren't gonna have any on here we're gonna literally put this in gray which is still an option we can still do that um, but I think tile is going to be the best option. Um, but this is in our budget and is already here. Tiles aren't, availability isn't, and also cost is not as well. So, but anyway, I'll um, give you a match tomorrow to show you what the mosaics look like with them, and maybe you can help me pick what colour we should use. Thank you.